Hell yeah, what's up guys? It's Curse Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back in action today. We're back in HitFilm Express, that free video editor, and I'm going to show you how to blur your footage. If you or a friend are going into witness protection, or if the FBI is after you, or I don't know, maybe you play video games and you want to avoid some spoiler alerts, there are a thousand reasons why you may want to blur some footage, including selectively blurring footage like I've done here of this lady's face. On the left side you'll see the regular footage, on the right side you'll see the blurred footage. Lots of reasons to do this. Let me show you how. Let's start from scratch. I'm going to delete all of that. So. We've got some footage loaded into the timeline here, or pardon me, into the media project folder. Now I'm going to left click on it and drag it into the timeline. I'm going to drop it into video track one and it's right at the beginning. So there we go. You'll see here, there she is. The next step is I'm going to take that footage and I'm going to drop it into video track two as well, right on top of it. So they're right directly synced up on top of each other. Now I'm going to work on the top track so frame two here so you'll see here that I've got the selection tool here I'm gonna make sure I'm selected on video track two and when you do that now we're gonna go ahead and start blurring out the uh, footage so we're gonna blur her face so what you want to do is you want to go to the effects panel for me it's located right here if you don't see it it's up here as well and then I've already found it it's called blur but I will let you know that there are a bunch of different blurs here and they are uh, most of them actually besides bilateral blur are free so we're gonna go with the regular blur which I believe is equivalent to Gaussian blur in uh, Adobe uh, Premiere Pro for example left click on blur drag and drop it onto the footage onto the top video not the bottom but the top when you do that you'll see a slight blur has been applied however this isn't exactly what we want so we go from the effects now come over to the controls panel and just drop it down and under effects so controls effects blur you'll see the check mark beside blur to let you know that it's it's going now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna increase the radius a little bit there we go this is making it more blurry now depending on how blurry you want it to be you can adjust this as you see fit you can also adjust iterations to even make it more blurry but two seems to be good two or three works pretty good for most cases all right, excellent. This, however, has blurred the entire screen, and that isn't what we want in this video, although there are cases where you want everything to be blurred. We don't want that. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you're selecting on the top video, so you're in video track two, and then come up here to the viewer, and you're going to see this little rectangle. This is actually a rectangle mask tool, and I'm going to go ahead and create a square mask. However, you could create a circle or a sphere or whatever um, <laughs> you know any type of shape but I'm gonna go ahead and make a rectangle mask just for uh, simplicity reasons I'll left click on that and now I'm just gonna drag out a square or a rectangle over her face just like this okay a little bit of a butterface move but hey don't take it personal you're a very pretty lady there we go now I've got a blur but it's a selective blur only on her face take a look at this See how it sort of moves around with her as the camera moves? There we go. That is how you do it. If that doesn't work for you, you can always go ahead and make a few changes. So if you went to the mask, for example, I'm going to go back to controls. And then instead of effects, I'm going to click on the mask. I'm going to click on that little triangle or chevron. And I can go ahead and just dig in a little deeper. And I can expand the mask a little bit if I want it to be, you know, a little bit more of her body and a little bit more of the side and I can also feather it and do a few other things, round the mask out. But at the end of the day, that is the technique for you to blur footage. So again, if you're going into FBI protection or witness protection or you're going to, you know, you're hiding out and you don't want to get seen, that's how you blur footage selectively. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon.